Well, my name is Alan Monk, and I'm the chair of Tetra Calgary. And uh, it's something that I'm really honored uh, to be involved in. Uh, I got involved in it about four years ago when my mother was in a care center and they needed something built, a bowling game. And I phoned up and got a hold of one of the volunteers and uh, asked if it was something they could do. And they said, uh, get us a drawing by Tuesday and uh, we'll get on it. And they did. And uh, I was uh, kept visiting them while they were making this game. And uh, man, I was so impressed with uh, the quality of the work they do. The Tetris Society uh, is a group of volunteers, engineers, machinists, uh, auto body mechanics, and so on, that volunteer their time to make any kind of an assistive device for anybody with a disability. The key word is volunteer. If it takes us 20 or 30 hours to make something for somebody, that time is all volunteer. They're just wonderful people that uh, love to collaborate and work together and do things for the betterment of society and to help people with disabilities. We're very fortunate uh, and uh, we get a lot of support from various companies. Uh, people, people donate us uh, materials that we can use because sometimes somebody comes in with a project and they just need, I need a piece of one inch pipe round uh, or uh, angle iron or something. And the fellas just, and the ladies, we have ladies too, they come and just, uh, pick up some of these things they need here and uh, manufacture what they need. We also have access to a complete woodworking shop and this is a Kobe reader holder for somebody that had no use of hands, a quadriplegic, and there was an attachment here with a wire and she could turn the pages just by nodding her head. We, uh, we don't have a tremendous amount of expenses but we do uh, get donations and we try to get uh, funding from uh, whoever we can and uh, the shop here that we're in, this is donated by the drop-in center, the Calgary drop-in center. We're very fortunate to have this 900 square foot shop. My background is one that I can offer to the uh, Tetra Society and that is I'm an entertainer. I've uh, sung on the opera stages all over North America and other places on the world for 40 years. And so uh, I go out and I advocate, I do presentations, I contact people and I try to find projects that people uh, like these wonderful uh, volunteers can work on. My name is Kelly Orchard. Uh, I've been a volunteer with Tetra for just under two years now. Now this is a, a Plenko machine, or a, well, it's a ping pong ball game. Uh, the concept was uh, imagined by Jim Monk and then we just uh, expanded on it from there, but we found we had a few design problems and the balls were getting caught, so we're just trying to rectify that. What it is is it's cable operated so that if they're in a wheelchair or in a bed, you can bring the game to them and, and it's very easy to operate. Uh, it, it takes very little effort to uh, activate it. And it, we made it so that it, it doesn't need electricity or anything so that it can be moved around. Hi, my name is Fritz Peil. I'm a retired mechanic and I'm helping out here. Uh, we were approached at um, one of the meetings from an OT in Okitok. She wanted a saddle seat for children to, that she can do better therapy. So I came up with the idea using an old piece of sheet metal. We rolled it to a seat. We're going to cover it with uh, foam and then uh, with vinyl. Uh, it will be um, adjustable that we can raise it. I'm going to put it underneath most likely a scissor check from a car because they are very reasonably priced. Then I, uh, for the backrest we had a piece here. We're going to mount the backrest here. I found uh, a nice adjustment uh, from a microphone stand. So the total cost of the project is going to be reasonable. My name is Tom Parks and uh, I suffer from uh, incomplete quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury C3 to C6, and uh, which makes it uh, difficult to use my hands. Uh, and uh, one of my dreams was to independently have a, uh, a scope mounted to my chair so that I could go out and do bird watching or just checking things out. And uh, so what I did was I got a hold of the Tetra Calgary uh, Society and uh, this is what they came up with. 
not having to have other people necessarily involved um, just makes a world of difference knowing that uh, it's just me and whatever I want to be. Hi, my name is Cheryl. I have a daughter named Dana. She's three and a half years old and she has something called Rett Syndrome, which uh, doesn't allow her to uh, move and walk around um, like a normal three and a half year old would. This car was an idea from the University of Delaware, which I saw on YouTube and it's uh, Dana's Go Baby Go car and the idea behind it is to give children with um, disabilities an ability to be mobile. So the Tetra Society was able to rewire a typical car that a toddler would use and use a sensitive switch here that Dana was able to, is able to push and move around herself. This car has given Dana quite a bit of independence that she not normally would have. This is the only thing that she has that she's able to control herself and allows her to be really proud of what she's doing on her own. <laughs> I'm Mark Kange. This is my son Ephraim. My wife is a very small lady, so we were thinking for her to pull two boys in this unit on her bike would be very difficult. And since I have a power hand cycle over here, and we thought, well, geez, wouldn't it be great if we could figure out something? to pull this trailer by me and then she would just ride the bike. Yeah. So this is the piece that Tetra designed for, for Mark's chair. Yeah. And a uh, simple piece, but it works. It's perfect. It just sits right in here. Slips in where the armrest would go. It's like standard that when I get a new chair, that piece is still going to fit. And this was all molded to fit. Thank you. Goodbye. Fast enough. Don't fast enough, fast enough.